guys. Riveted. Even here. after you used Welcome the back dust. To another episode. He was still scary. <laughs> Life is strange. True colors. So let's head back over to the king. We have accomplished our goals. Let's check out this lady again. Such a gorgeous day. I wish I used it better. I don't think we can do much else. Okay. I'm going to try to use my powers while we're out and around. Would you rather be scary? One, two, three. I control me. Okay. One, two, three. I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. <laughs> Nothing like getting pissed off at your anger management book. Yeah. I wonder if I'll live to see those good days return. Until then, I'll the Age of Monsters is about to get busted. Yeah, let's go do this. I'm with you, Ethan. I'm just fucking around. Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. <laughs> Sorry, Thanor. Go get him. Thanor. <laughs> Okay. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what this final battle is going to be. We've been lucky thus far. We've been able to stay clear of a lot of fighting, except for that first one, which uh, wasn't so bad. I'm still down two health. Well, shit. Hey, Nor. I, I zigged when I should have zagged. I apologize, my friend. I forgot that we had to walk past this thing. Oh, there's still that dollar. Huh. Did Ethan drop this? I still don't know why that's a thing. Uh-oh. Oh my god. It's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanor, the monster slayer. You've come at last. She looks amazing. I love Do it. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria. The forest spirit. <laughs> you have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look. There. Ooh. What is that? The sword. <laughs> the sky sword. It's the sky sort of power. It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. Oh. It's got the pincer. And the same grip. And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? <laughs> Can I really take it? Natheria said of so. Of course. Natheria said so, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> Glad you got to see that again. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> they are really <laughs> the characters. Oh, they got love in the kids' imagination is so strong it brings it into reality. One thing, or Bard, a song, if you please. Happily.
The prophecies fulfilled at last. Now Thanos might is unsurpassed. Nice. <laughs> uh oh. It's time for our last battle. This is the part I hate because I'm really <laughs> shit at this. Oh shit! The king. I'll take that sword now! And the jewels! Cravius, Lord of the Underworld! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! Corey. We've gotten this far. We can beat him. <laughs> Give them to me! Okay, kid, let's do this thing. Okay, so this gives ourselves an extra... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God, this is fucking Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh! Uh, items, what do we have? Scroll of advantage. Scroll of advantage. So we get an extra turn. Uh, so we'll attack. Horrid disharmony. We go attack. Stab of strike of wrath. Strike of wrath. Oh! Nice. Hypnotic fugue. Hypnotic fugue. Oh! What does he have? Fire blast. Fire blast. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Fixed by the gorgeous music. Okay. Let's attack. Untuned chord. Stab. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. So we will. Healing Serenade. Give us both a little bit of our boost back. Okay. Uh, does he have Shield of Courage? Shield of Courage! Ring of Fire! No! <laughs> burn, burn, burn. Burning Blade! Oh. I summon the fury of hell! Oh shit. Death to all who defy me! Ah. Uh. Curse this fire! That's what it's there for. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Scroll of healing. Scroll of healing. Attack. Untuned core. Oh. Uh, stab. Oh. oh shit. Ah. Uh, curse this fire. Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to it for a while. Uh. And she stirring him. Stirring him. Okay. Burning blade. 
blade. That was awesome. <laughs> we did it! I can't believe what just happened! That was epic. That last fight was epic! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the best part was finding... Oh, God. You have to fucking ruin it. Gabe's dead. Gabe's dead because of me. It's my fault. No, it's not. I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. I knew Ethan? he was feeling that. <sighs> Poor kid. Listen Help to him. me. It wasn't your fault. At all. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. You shouldn't have to deal with that. You were just having a good day. Fuck off. I really hate that company. <laughs> Let's hope that they can crack the, uh, the Charlotte, code. back here. Got a lower shop. Really well laid out. Oh, fucking love the studio. God. Oh, I love the light. Give me a break. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. <laughs> so did she. Yep. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. <laughs> he thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. Well, he's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. No. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. That's hard. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just... a lot going on. I don't mind. I don't mind you. At all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Charlotte, I can tell some- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Oh. Shit. No. This was a mistake. No. Where did that anger come from? Okay, let's take a look at this real quick. It looks like Charlotte is really pouring herself into her art. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what she's creating. It looks like a group of people. It kind of looks like something at Pompeii, personally, but. I 
don't think she's going to be partially mad at her son for what happened. I hope not. That can't be good. What the fuck? Why is that statue angry? I understand putting yourself into your art and you can put a lot of energy into it, not necessarily positive. I've done Her it myself. Anger is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. I can understand that. Misdirected as it is. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? so angry at everyone around her but there's something else here it's angry at herself you know that oh fuck no no what is wrong with me i can't let myself feel this way when did i become such a fucking monster It's rough. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Kate... I don't... I can deal with hating Ryan. Or you. Or even Gabe. But Ethan... If he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. You're thinking about it wrong. It all comes back to that. No, it all comes back to the fact that somebody... Your actions are what matters. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. And 
I wish I were too. This anger could kill her, and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away? You got a superpower. What can you do with it? Can you redirect this someplace? Don't know if that's a burden you want to bear. It's not yours. I can do it. Her. I can take her anger from her. That's not a good idea. Where are you going to put it? What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can? I don't think you should. Should I? Nope. I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. It's her anger. It's something she has to deal with. It's gonna suck for her. Apologize. I wish I could do something. That makes two of us. I don't think taking it away from her was a good idea. Personally, I just don't like the ramifications of it. It leaves her empty and opens a whole worms. Because she hasn't learned to cope with it, so it's just gone. And then Alex has it all thrust upon her, and how's that going to fuck with her? I don't know. I just don't see the benefit of it. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Not good. I don't know. She was hurting so much. I thought I'd be able to help her, but I couldn't. If you couldn't help her, I'm sure no one could. So, please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. Oh no. I should... probably listen to that. Oh. I need to know. We're here for you. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Chen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Smack. Whatever. I'm just doing my job. He tried. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right attitude, Alex. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Okay. Uh, let's see what did... Everything is so not fine. Yeah. There was something from Ethan. Um, Shit. That didn't take long. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I swear to God that there was something from Ethan. 
There we go. Okay. I'm glad that that, uh, okay. Ducky. Aw. Ryan was, I mean, sorry, Ducky was amazing. Okay. So we are going back. Journal, I'm good. Uh, Talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. We're going to get there. Don't worry. So, how fucked are we? If we can't work it out ourselves, I could always just seduce the truth out of Diane. <laughs> oh, you really think so? Uh, yeah. You saw me in action, right? <laughs> okay. Go a cold case and a warm beer. Okay, so let's take a look at... Thanks for spilling your guts. Uh-huh. A key part of any good investigation. Gotta find joy in the little things. Right, Gabe? Okay. We're gonna get them. Okay? <sighs> yeah. I know we will. Read the map. Okay. Don't drop off. Okay. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. How are you getting I should find the next call me? and see if that has any information. Okay, at 8.41. So at 8.43. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? Yes. No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. Fuck off. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says mm -hmm. more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Let's mm. the email archive. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Ooh. So I warned you, Lena. I fucking warned you. Rhea went off undetected as you insisted, and now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I'm not going down for this, at least not alone. Uh, I understand you're upset and emotional about tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I'm choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling off tomorrow. I'll be calling first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off. Wow. Let's do the call log. So, uh, this would be the next morning. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. 
Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane and yep. all this, but damn. Uh huh. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me. Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Yeah. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. Wow. A simple phone call. Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Mm. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Yep. Same. I want to go back. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. Yeah. I want to congratulate you on your effort in the Haven Spring Expansion Campaign. I've got word back from the state that we've officially passed inspections some champagne you've earned it and all that's left now is the vote it's been hearing great things your progress in the town members sponsoring swing with a nice touch home stretch okay this is the email diane mentioned so what is raya raya went off undetected was there a second blast that night they only had permits for one what did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was... That might tell us what it was for. Mm-hmm. Okay, now there's a file browser. Rhea schematic. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Come on, map. Search. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait, they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something? They were burying something. Well, well, well. Interesting. Well, well, well. That was uh, unexpected. Okay. So we were in the top percentage, 58, for using Steph. Uh, so it was almost halfway, um, 50-50 there, roughly, for how the anger was dissipated. So, I get it. Um, Alex made Diane sad. Yeah, I'm good with that. Alex didn't play a record. I'm not doing that because of the fact that I am, um, not going to get copyrighted. <laughs> it's just me. 
I didn't do weed on the rooftop garden. Yeah, that's just sound like me. Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle. Yes, 96%. I'm good with this. Troll is to do with magic powder. Wow, we are not interesting. That is very interesting. Only 33% use it. Uh, so we put to sleep, which is a higher percentage. Stuff helped Alex find out what the typhoon was up to, 47%. Oh, she could have stormed out. I'm glad that she didn't. Uh, 100% that everyone um, vanquished Tabor. Uh, okay. Riley doesn't know about Eleanor's condition, which is fine. On the low percentage, Alex didn't play this song stuck in the student's head. I didn't know. Didn't even see it. Uh, Alex and Ethan so solved the Jester's riddle. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we helped the blacksmith out with his work. Cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll be back very soon with Chapter 4. Uh, I'm going to go fuck with Typhon. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the